In this previous episode, I showed the owners, Phil and Janie, a great technique, which is I call go-to. And it's teaching your dog to go to a specific place. It could be, uh, could be a couch, it could be a chair, it could be a pillow. In this situation, it was a landing. And this is great if you have guests over or, or you're having dinner. You just don't want the dog on top of you. You want to create distance between you and the dog. You say go-to, the dog goes to the area, the dog goes and lies down, stays there, creates distance between you and the dog. What's the issue you guys have with it? Well, we do, uh, and we, we love our Dexter, you know, he's, he just loves to be near us, and that's fine, mm -hmm. but when we're entertaining friends or we're eating dinner or watching TV, he's at our feet or he's under the table, <laughs> so is there something you can do to help us right. maybe give him some distance? If you have an elevated area, sometimes that works out great, and I noticed that at your house here, you know, we've got this, uh, we've got this elevated area. You know, just, just before the entry hall. And so what, what we want to do is we want to be able to t teach the dog to go on to his elevated area, stay there and lie down, and that way you guys can hang out and just kind of do your thing. You always want to make sure that when you train the go on or a go to, make sure your dog already knows how to lie down. Lie down is a great neutral position for the dog, and he already knows how to lie down. So what we're going to say is we're going to say go on, guide him up with the food, lie down. He lies down, and reward him just like that. Okay. What we're doing is simply guiding the dog with the treat. Don't call your dog to you. Make sure you always walk and reward him. When you're happy, release him. Okay. Very, very nice. That's a good boy. And we'll do it one more time, just like that. Okay. And again, right now, all we're doing is we're basically putting the treat in one hand. Go on. Guiding him right back up here. Go on. Lie down. Stay. Rewarding him, just like so. Once dog was consistent with me, I then handed the dog off to Janie. So Janie, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of have you do the same thing that I just okay. did, okay? So again, you're going to be holding on to the leash with your left hand. You're going to be guiding him with your right hand, okay? Just guiding him over up here, okay? okay? And uh, I will, okay, okay, very, very good. That's a good boy. And I'm going to have you stand here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and straight trade places here. Okay. And let him see the food with you because obviously he's looking at me right now. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go on. Lay down. Stay. Perfect. And drop the leash. Good. And walk in and reward him. Don't stay. And then release him. Just say, okay. Okay. Excellent job. Very, very good. Good job, you guys. That was very, very cool. When we come back, let's see how Phil, Janie, and Dexter are doing a few months later. Okay. Dexter, go on. Lay down. Okay, so it's been a couple months, and uh, how's it going? You know, it's going great. Uh, after you taught us the technique to teach him to go on and to lay down, uh, he's picked up on it beautifully. Uh, yeah. He's a, a little bit of a treat freak, so he will do anything to get a treat, and he just wants to please us. But I think it's going very well. Excellent, excellent. Well, Dexter is a very, <laughs> very excited dog. We're going to have you lie down a second here because you pant, you pant really loud in the microphones. Um, so. Uh, in training the behavior, obviously, we, we, you, know, you need to train your dog to lie down before we train this behavior. It's more advanced mm -hmm. behavior. How was the training? Uh, how did it go? Any, any good points, bad points? Well, uh, the consistency of it was good, getting his attention, uh, but doing the first, putting the treat down, uh -huh. and then having him go on, and then he learned that there was a treat there, and then he'd lay down, and then gradually, slowly increasing the distance, mm -hmm. and then occasionally, or after that, then not putting the treat there so that he would know to go over there, turn around, and lay down. Excellent, excellent. Well, let's go take a look and see, uh, see how he's doing. All right. Last time we were here, we were six feet away. He was doing great, and he was going to landing and lying down. We are now about 12 to 15 feet away, and this is kind of where you guys, I assume, kind of hang out a little bit. Right. right? We do, huh? And let's uh, let's take a look. Okay, Dexter, go on. Lay down. Look at that face. Good boy. Oh, job. you're such a good boy. Excellent job, both of you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a good that boy. is an advanced behavior too. Okay. That's very very impressive. Let's okay. bring him right back here and give him a nice reward for that. Oh, that was, what a good boy you that are. That was awesome, that's a good boy. <laughs> How about one more time? Okay. One more time? All right. Yeah, once we're ready. ready. <gasps> Dexter. Okay. 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 Go on, go on. 
Lay down. Beautiful. Oh. Great job. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Good there job. you go. And I notice, you know, always want to make sure too that everybody okay. that's watching this, that um, okay. if you notice Janie, whenever she um, wants to reward the dog, she's not calling the dog to her. Even once this behavior is trained, long after it's trained, you always want to make sure you reward the dog or the dog is lying down. Great job, both you guys. Oh, thank you. Dexter's a big part of your life, isn't he? Oh, very much so. We love him. Love him very much. How long have you guys known him? Oh, about a three, years. couple years now. A couple, couple years. Um, in training this behavior, um, training a dog to go on to a place, you know, how, how has it helped your, you know, kind of your lifestyle or the way you live around here and things like that? Oh, it, it's wonderful. Um, since he loves us so much, he prefers to be at our feet all the time. And sometimes when we have people over or we just want to have some space, it's so nice to be able to have him go someplace else where he can still see us. And he's happy with that, but he's just not under our feet all the time. It's wonderful. That's great. 